And it's not too often that someone comes in and has an immediate impact like Bobby's, Bobby had. His journey to get here is what continues to motivate him today. Uh, Bobby was a great scorer in junior college. Um, he was very competitive and, and I thought he'd come in and play, score some baskets. I wasn't sure what type of leader he'd be. We kind of chose our captains. Um, the coaches had some input and the players had a lot of input. And at that time we named him a captain. He really had earned it. Uh, from the players. Coach wants me to be a vocal leader uh, and also lead by example. So that's what I'm trying to do with the, you know, with the younger guys and everybody else. We brought in 10 new players this year and for a basketball team that's unheard of. So I kind of use my past experience to kind of, you know, lead the guys, but it's also been a learning experience for me, especially at this level, how you have to come out and bring it every day. You can't, you know, take days off. So that's one of the things, because GCO, people are there to show, showcase himself. Um, so here it's all about showcasing yourself, but as a, as a unit. He gives our team a lot of confidence because I think everybody knows that Bobby's not scared, no matter what. And he continues to prove that, and he's a big reason why we've had success this year. That certainly presents a lot of unique challenges with um, having 10 new guys come in this year. Uh, that doesn't happen too often, and when it does happen, you have to be prepared that uh, with 10 new faces, uh, new to the university, you really need to address it, address it proactively with the guys. And academics is the number one reason why these guys come to college, and, and we keep that in mind. So uh, what do you have to do when you get new players? Uh, you have to train them. You have to teach them time management. Um, you have to teach them how to study sometimes. Uh, we've got a great staff over at our study center. My role with the men's basketball team is um, trying to assist them uh, academically and also personally uh, through their transition of coming to ISU and coming into the collegiate environment. A day, it can get kind of crazy because you're going, you got class, then you got practice, and then sometimes you'll have weights. And then you may have a study hall session at 7 o'clock at night. They do a great job with communicating with all the athletes and it makes it, it, makes it easier uh, to adjust and, and get used to the type of lifestyle for a student athlete. To be honest, Bobby is just a very confident um, young man that can handle almost any situation. He excels in the classroom. The way he, he ended up in Illinois State University is uh, not, not, a, not a common way that you end up being a Division I men's basketball player. He holds himself to, um, to a higher standard and he expects more, more from himself. Bobby is everything that's good about this university and as an alum, I think I know what that means. I'm really, I'm really glad that Bobby Hunter's here.